Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today on Backseat Eats, the fast food french fry tournament quarterfinals comes to a close with the final matchup in the quarterfinals before we take our break before the semis. And that matchup is going to be Burger King and Wendy's. Wendy's coming in as our number four seed and Burger King our number five seed. So very excited for this matchup. Two very close competitors, two titans of the fast food industry. This is sure to be one of our biggest matchups that we've done so far. So we've got Burger King coming in as our number five seed with 308 locations in 10 provinces and territories and in 191 cities. And our number four seed with the closest margin of any two restaurants, we have Wendy's with 389 locations in 10 provinces and territories and in 196 cities. So as usual today, we'll be basing the fries on five different categories, taste, mouthfeel, saltiness, freshness, and price. Also as usual, we'll be eating the fries completely naked, no salt, vinegar, ketchup, mayo, whatever you put on your fries. I'm not here to judge. First Burger King was opened in Jacksonville, Florida in 1953. The franchise has been a staple of the fast food industry ever since. In 1997, BK revamped its French fries in North America. The improved fries were coated with a layer of potato-based starch, giving the fries a crisp shell that maintained its texture for a longer period of time. And these are the fries that they sell to this day. The fries at Burger King are cooked in canola oil and you can find yourself a medium for $3.00. 35 cents. Welcome to Burger King. What can I get for you? Hi, can I just get a medium fry? Is that everything? Uh, yes, that'll be everything today. Okay, that comes to 3035. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so 335. That's uh, a bit, bit pricier uh, than a lot of the fries. And I believe a lot of them have been about 315. Perfect, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Burger King, we've secured the bag. It's our final round in the quarterfinals. I'm here at Burger King, and I gotta tell you, these fries smell incredible. It's your classic French fries. Like, that's what you get from Burger King. Visible salt on them, nice color, solid thickness. Ready to just get into these. Uh, ready to dig right in. So let's just uh, shut the hell up and eat a French fry. Mm, that first one's not good. That didn't sell me right away. Bad start. Okay, okay. Mm -mm. Nope. Really? I thought these were better than that. Wow. Wow. I'm a little surprised, actually. These are not that good. These are kind of shitty. Let's talk about positives here. Freshness. These are extremely fresh, very hot, very eatable, eatable temperature. That's sort of where it drops, right? You know, my hands are covered in salt, but I don't really taste any. Not that salty. They've got a pretty unique mouthfeel. It's not an overpowering potato. It's a, it's a pretty... It's a pretty good amount of potato that I'm eating right now. Every bite, you know? It, it's not bad. It just tastes a little bland, really. Maybe we don't like french fries as much as we thought we did. Maybe we just like ketchup, because like these are very okay. Well, I, I, I gotta say I'm uh, a bit disappointed. I thought these were gonna taste a little better than they did. We'll have to give it to Wendy, see what they've got. You know, this being one of the probably most competitive matchups, number four, number five, very similar styles, I think. I think Burger King and Wendy's overall are pretty similar restaurants. Get over to Wendy's, see how their fries taste, and eliminate one of these bad boys because I'm feeling in like a, I'm feeling an eliminating mood, you know? I feel, it's almost like I'm looking forward to eliminating. And I don't know if that's just because I know that we're close to the semi-final round and I just want to see which one of these is going to go up against Popeyes, but uh, let's go eliminate some bitches. Wendy's, Wendy's was opened by Dave Thomas in Columbus, Ohio in 1969. In 1990, they also changed their fry recipe, similarly to Burger King, in an attempt to rebrand into a healthier direction. Their natural cut fries are made with sea salt and cooked in vegetable oil, which makes them completely vegan. Wendy's having the cheapest fries in this competition coming in at $3.05. Those Burger King fries were a bit disappointing. If you'd asked me like three months ago, what's your second favorite fast food fry in this very specific conversation that we're having, uh, what's your second favorite fast food fry? And I would probably have said Burger King. Wendy's just don't suck, right? Just be, be just be like literally a bit better and you're moving on. <laughs> we have secured the bag. All right, here we are with our number four seed. It's Wendy's, you know her, you love her. She's 
fucking Wendy. I don't know. Wendy's is the only restaurant, aside from McDonald's, who I truly think is proud of their fries. I think a lot of other fast food franchises are sort of like, yeah, we have fries. We've, we've got fries, you know? No, no, one, no one else feels to me like they take pride in the, in the work they do with their french fries, except for McDonald's and Wendy's. I'm curious, you know, they're a lot thinner than the Burger King ones we just tried, uh, which is a good thing for me, good sign for me. They got the bit of skin on there, which uh, I know a lot of people like. Am I one of those people? Let's find out. I'm really split on these. Saltiness is there, more so than Burger King. Freshness, but same. I like that they're thinner. That's always a plus for me. The general taste on them, to me, isn't great. They kind of give me a headache. This is such a toss up, man. Honestly, they both gonna suck. These are both a little shitty. Like they're not very good. To me, these are both like C tier, D tier fries. I don't really want to finish these, to be perfectly honest with you. In regards to the elimination, like I said, I was itching to eliminate someone and uh, now I'm kind of backtracking on that because I don't know who I want to eliminate because like, honestly, they're both pretty even. I think I kind of said it when I said that Wendy's gives me a bit of a headache. I think that to me means that I wanna scoop Burger King just just ahead by like a hair. Cause I mean, I definitely shouldn't get a headache from eating French fries or well, it's fast food, so. So I think that I am going to be eliminating our good friend Wendy from the fast food French fry tournament. I'm sorry, girl, you did your best. Uh, I think you're gonna have lots of success in future back CD videos, just this wasn't your moment. Burger King. Winner, Genyo. You're going, my friend. You're you're going to the semifinals against Popeyes. Can Burger King in a complete upset do a full 180 on me and convince me that they're better than Popeyes? We will see in just a few weeks when the semifinals go down. Wendy, you should have spent less time on your pigtails and more time on your potatoes. There you have it, the quarterfinals is finito. We have put a wrap on the competition as of now. Uh, Wendy's, you know, give me a headache, honestly. Still kind of feeling it. Reeling from the headache from Wendy's fries. Burger King moving on just barely by a hair. So this is what our quarterfinal matchups look like. We've got McDonald's versus Harvey's, and we've got Popeye's versus Burger King, who just kind of squeaked their way into the final four. So we'll be taking a break from the fast food french fry tournament just to let the dust settle on our quarterfinal matchups. And so we'll be back in a few weeks to get those final two matchups out of the way. And then it'll be the finals, baby. Who do you got for the finals? Let me know down in the comments below for our final two matchups. Who is walking away with the fast food french fry tournament crown? And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support is always appreciated. And until next time, stay hungry.